G'day and welcome to this week's video. My name is Robert Gowdy and this week we're going to have a quick chat about the ATO Communication to Self-Managed Superannuation Fund Trustees where they're looking at uh, a lot of the assets within a fund and they've sent out a, just under 18,000 uh, letters to these trustees where their self-managed super fund has 90% of the fund's assets within either one asset class or into one actual asset itself. Now, where the concerns are is that you know there's a huge lack of diversification. And when it comes to investing, diversification is really the, the, the free lunch we can all have with very little effort. So you can have a range of cash, fixed interest, some property, Aussie shares, international shares, an array of different asset classes that will behave differently in different circumstances. And this is where, when I put together a, a, a portfolio of businesses, you know, it won't be a portfolio of one business, it'll be a portfolio of probably 10 to 15 different businesses, both locally and internationally. So if I get one wrong, and I do, um, that will happen from time to time. Uh, that that one will be that one business and investment will be affected, where the remaining investments and businesses may continue to do well. So diversification is really you know the one thing we can do to make sure that we you know, we don't pick you know the wrong investment, and if we do, it go comes down and affects our retirement savings. So this is where the ATO, ATO have their concerns that of this nearly eighteen thousand. Um, funds that they've communicated to. Um, a lot of them have used a limited recourse borrowing arrangement where they're borrowing money to buy and the large majority of these ones they're essentially buying a property. So definitely have a look at uh, the previous video I did a few weeks ago when it looked at property spruikers. Uh, the ATO have their concerns that if this investment doesn't do particularly well over the next 10 to 20 years and for a lot of these investors they may not find out how well they haven't done until 10 to 15 years times have, have has elapsed when they go to sell it. So be very skeptical about any uh, advisory firm or property spruikers that are trying to get to you know, get you to roll your superannuation over into a self-managed superannuation fund to go and buy a single asset, a property, an apartment of some type. There's no doubt they will have a conflict of interest, uh, which is illegal, um, and yeah, so they'll be highly conflicted to sell you the asset that they want you to have. This is covered off in the uh, presentation I did uh, some time ago, which was based on uh, property spruikers that came to our small town. So for those that have uh, a super fund and has uh, got one uh, single asset, a property within it, I think you really need to understand why you're holding it, what is going to be the drivers of the valuations, has it gone up? Uh, for people that have owned an apartment or a property over the last you know, five to ten years, um, some people have made some very good money, some people have lost money or all gone sideways. So there's a huge amount of risk with not being diversified. The ATO are looking at the stats and, uh, and they're communicating this. And this should also come via auditors and to make sure that investment strategies you know, meet um, what's happening within the fund itself. So a bit of a negative one, one to be cautious of. I'd recommend those people that do have um, you know, a lack of diversification, please seek uh, you know, advice from a, uh, an unconflicted uh, financial advisor. Thanks for listening. Uh, we'll speak to you next week and uh, catch you soon. Bye.